guys, welcome back to my channel. What I have for you today is a fall DIY. So excited. I saw this at Michael's and I wanted to kind of recreate it and put my little uh, spin on it. What we're going to do for this fall DIY for 2021 is we are going to make wooden stack books. I think this is so cute. You can put this in your tiered tray so you can make these books any size that you want. And if you don't want to use the wood, we have tons of leftover scraps, then you can use Dollar Tree books. That will work as well. So you have a couple options. And before we, I get into telling you what you need, if you want to make this, look at this shirt. Is this not adorable? I bought two of them at Walmart over the weekend. Love this. So they're starting to put in my Walmart some of their fall uh, clothing, and I'm loving it, so obsessed. If I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below, and I'll link anything else that I can find in my description box below. Some of this stuff is in my Amazon store, but I'll still put the link. Okay, so I had my husband, like I said, cut us some wood. This either came off of our columns on our front porch when we first moved in, or it came out of the kitchen, and I'm not sure what, which one it is, but you can see. And you can make these as large or as small as you want. I thought this was a pretty good size for a book. So I had him cut three of these. And uh, if I can remember, I'll put the size that I cut mine in the description box below. But um, you could do any size, like I said. So you need three pieces of wood or some books from the Dollar Tree, okay? Then I went to Michael's and I got this recollection stamp set so I can write on there. I've been wanting to get something like this. I really should have got it off of Amazon. They're much cheaper, but I, um, I got this. I was kind of in a hurry. So this is what we're going to be using. Now I have my stays on ink in my Amazon storefront, but I'll, like I said, link everything if you're interested. I have the stays on in black and in the timber brown. I don't know which color I'll be using. Then I also have this from the Dollar Tree, this little grid that you can put your stamps on so you can see when you're placing them. Have this. Then I'm going to be using the Cashew, Waverly Chalk Paint and Cashew. I think this is adorable. And then I saw these Dollar Tree little pumpkin clips. I've had these in my stash from last year, so I think we might use one, I'm not sure. And then I had this metal leaf in my stash from last year. Might use that. And then you'll need some baby wipes, scissors, hot glue, unless you wanna use E6000, I never do. And then I'm going to be looking at this Dollar Tree ribbon. I don't know if I'll use it, but I probably may. And then you'll need some Dollar Tree juice. So let me go ahead and flip everything, flip the camera down, and we'll get started with this really cute, easy, inexpensive, and simple fall DIY for 2021. Okay, now I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in the plaster, and I'm going to pour some out. I think I'm going to take this brush because this wood, um, it kind of has a little bit of a smell to it. To be honest, you could almost use it like that. It looks like an old book. <laughs> and I'm just going to paint this. And I'm not even going to be too particular covering up, covering up those edges because I like it. Now, after my husband cut this, he did sand these edges for me. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. Okay, I have them all painted on the front. I'm gonna dry them with a hair dryer, flip them over and paint them on the back and then I'll be Okay, painted on the front and the back. This will be my top. Just look and see which one looks the best because you do have both sides to choose from, which is good. And figure out what you want your spines which way you want your spines to be, okay? Now, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to write happy fall y'all. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get this right here from Recollections. And I always condition my stamps by just rubbing them with some um, light grit sandpaper. And that really just helps the um, ink to stick to them better. And I'm going to go this down and then I'm going to go across. Okay. So we've got that much done. I'm going to take this and the top book and I'm going to get my H put it on there. And you gotta do it backwards. <laughs> I can see me messing up. And I'm gonna use these grid lines to try to keep myself relatively straight. Go down to the second line. And I had a longer block, but I don't know where it is. So I have to do this in sections. It is so hot here today, but in my house, it is looking like fall. And that's the only thing I care about. And it doesn't have to be really perfect because if you look at a lot of these books, they're not totally perfect. And I think that's what gives them. Now, there'll be another P and I gotta get a Y. But I've got to leave room for my P. So I'm gonna scoot this one over and snug it in right there. And that will leave, I just scooted, I put my P there as a placeholder. Then I put my Y in, and now I'm just putting the P where it goes, and then the other one will fit in there nicely. And like I said, they don't have to be perfect, okay? Then I think I'm going to do, well, you could do the black, you could do the brown. Um, let's see. Okay, I might do that. Do I want to do? I think I'll do the black. Brown would really be pretty on this, though. Okay. And we are just going to take this, make sure this is my edge. It is. Once I touch down, I'm not going to shift. Then come straight up, and now I'll just add my P. I'll take these off, put the P in here, line it up, put some ink on it, stamp it off, put a little bit more. He kind of smeared. I pressed down too hard. So what I can do without any problem is I can take this into my paint. And smear will be gone. And like I said, they don't have to be perfect on these books. See, that helped it so much. And I could work with it more if I wanted. And I might try to clean it up. It doesn't have to be, but. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, there's happy. 
And also by stamping this off, you can make it lighter. So there's an, an option. Now I'm gonna put in fall. Still using that grid to try to stay relatively um, level. And then the same way with my L, I'll put this here. I don't have to do anything else. I can do it like this. Then I can put it on there the next time. And I might just put this. I just have to remember I have to leave room for my L. That's so cute. <laughs> you could put it closer if you wanted, farther apart. Get your right letter. <laughs> Don't be like me, I was getting ready to get a wrong letter. And then we'll just stick this. Right like that. So now we have happy fall. And then we're gonna put, okay, now I'm going to get my Y. this that little um exclamation point I probably should have put in okay now I'll put the other L on here I just love working with stamps I'm so hilarious I love to do all kinds of crafts, I really do. Y'all, okay. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, so this is what we're getting so far. I think this is cute. This would even been really pretty white. The original one I saw was white and it was really cute. Now you can either leave your books straight like this and glue them together, or I think I may slightly ever so slightly glue mine like that. It's just really what you want to do. But I think that's what I'm going to do. Now with this glue, I use Gorilla Glue. And when this goes down, it's going to go down. Wood to wood really glues. I have to make sure that's how I want it. <laughs> I think this is cute. And you could even put this top one a little crooked if you want. I'm going to try to line it up the best I can. And if it's not perfect, that's fine too, okay? That's what we're getting so far. Just looks like the books have been just let down there, really, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, you can take this Dollar Tree ribbon if you want. And like I said, I have different kinds so many to choose from and you can put it around there let me just see which one these little owls are calling to me <laughs> so I think I'm going to use them okay I think this is adorable okay and you can totally customize whatever you want oh this will be perfect okay so I'm going to glue them on the bottom. I'm going to glue it on the bottom. So I'm going to take this. 
figure out where I want it because I want it to get a good look. Okay. So I'm going to take this, put some glue right there, and press down with my little spatula, or you can use the finger protectors from the Dollar Tree. That works really well too. And I'm gonna bring this right down through here. You gotta love this, you, you really do. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. I'm gonna cut this right here. I'm gonna take it and fold it back Put some hot glue right there. Pull it really taut. Okay, that's what we're getting so far. Is that not cute? And like I said, this is totally customizable, so you can do whatever you want to it. I'm going to put this down on here because I don't want the glue to stick to anything. Now, I think I may take some of this jute, and I had a piece, I think already off. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I think this might, it might add a good touch, and then again, I don't want it to cover up my owls. Maybe I'll put it above my owls. Yeah, I think maybe that's what I'll do. I think, I don't know, we'll see. Not committed yet. Okay, let's cut this off. Okay, that's what we're getting so far. I don't know if I really want that rope on there. You can do it with just the jute. You can do it with the jute and that. I don't know, let me look. Okay, then we have this pumpkin. And you can either clip it, but I think I will take mine off the clip. Cut this really down close because when I have it on my tear tray, I don't want it to keep me from doing, putting it somewhere. You could either put it in front like that. You could put it back here. I think I like it in the back more. Okay, let's take a look at it. Well, here this is. I am in love with this. This is so cute. It just looks like really stacked books from every angle. I'm still not sure whether I want to leave the jute on there or not, but I love the little pumpkin on top. It is so cute. And this is such an easy little fall DIY to make. Like I said, totally customizable. You could paint this white, you could do one orange, one brown, one white, one cream. You could do so much. You could uh, decoupage a picture on top. You could put Dollar Tree stickers on this, whatever you want to do. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for a wonderful Dollar Tree haul. They are killing me, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. And then I'll take these down and let you see what they look like just sitting around. Can't wait. I start decorating August 1st. <laughs> Well, Maggie was conked out in there just sleeping and say mama has another funny story to tell you. Mm-hmm, yes. She is so hilarious. She 
went from my side to Melvin's side all over last night. She finally lay down and went, ugh, and she just stretched out. Her little feet were behind her. She was totally flat on her stomach and she was out like a light. She said, I've had so much going on, you would not believe it. And then she'll kind of go, She'll just, she moans. It's hilarious how when she's going to sleep, it's not really a moan. It's like a, oh, I'm so tired. She's funny. And then today, oh, she's yawning. Yes, she's exhausted. Mommy loves you. Then today, uh, our neighbor across the street were getting new gutters, didn't they? Yes, and said, I had to protect the house. So I had a bark. And then we're getting new neighbors to the right of us. So they had a little small moving van. And she said, there's been so much action here lately. Say, but hello, say hi. Oh, say I love you, but I'm so tired, yes. So until next time, bye guys. Well, here they are. I think they are absolutely precious. I really do. I'll let you get a good look up close. Like I said, you could stack them straight on. You could um, change the color, do your font in whatever color you wanted. And I really like that little Dollar Tree ribbon with the little owl and then the pumpkin. I think it's so cute and it makes it so pretty. I just have it sitting with these Dollar Tree little pumpkins, so precious. And they really look like stacked books, no matter how you look at them. I think they are adorable. And like I said, a very easy and expensive fall DIY. So until next time, bye guys.